Why don't you show me? Oh, here we go. Uh, we are at 39 degrees Celsius for CPU temperature. The chip sets at 50. So we're kind of bouncing around a little bit here. So right around 40 degrees, which isn't bad. I say that's a win. So yeah, not bad. And I'm, I'm running this, I'm running this at ultra uh, 144 Hertz. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm running ultra 144 Hertz. I can't run 2K or 4K because my monitor won't support it. I, I bought this monitor with the concession that I wouldn't be able to game a lot higher than that or stream a lot higher than that. Uh, but then about six months ago, I had some people help me buy some pieces for a new PC. That way we can do a two PC setup and now we're here. So I'll have to look into a monitor, but that's way in the future. I'm not worried about it right now. All right. So now we've got trucks. I can't really afford a second. Oh, I'm using, I'm using NVET cause I got a 2080 TI metronomic. I got a 2080 Ti, so I'm, I'm doing NVEC. But I am processing at low latency quality, so the processor is still being used. Uh, right now, I'm using about 20% of my uh, CPU on the streaming rig, so it shouldn't be that bad. Your PC runs at 90 degrees on a good day. 90 degrees Celsius? Liquid, you need to get that looked into. You need to take your username and pour it on your PC safely. One second, guys. Uh... Boom. Okay, so, um, Lost Trailer. Now, that is a scout recommended mission. And we're going to do that one. Let's do that one. And we've got the international here. The scout. Yeah, so metronomic. That's because of uh, bit rate. It depends on your internet. If people are streaming at a lower bit rate, you're going to get pixelation. I can, I can turn my bit rate down and show you. Uh, here, check this out. So if I go into my settings here. And I go to output and I change this to 3000. They, they try and do 1080 60 streaming at a low, low bit rate. So right now we're at 3500. Check this out. Right, right now we're at 3500 uh, kbps. And if I move around like this, you're going to notice pixelation. I'm going to turn to a frog and the whole game is just going to be like, yeah, see, that's the difference. But if I go back. That's why, that's why I tell people who are just starting off with streaming, you don't want to play an FPS game if you're trying to get people to watch your stream. Because if you're playing an FPS and you're hopping around the screen and dancing and stuff, and you're streaming at 1500 bit rate, no one's going to watch what you're doing. No one's going to care about what you're doing. I'm pushing 8K, yeah. So this is, this is 8K. See, see a difference? There, there should be like hardly any artifacting right now. It should be like crystal clear, just about. It doesn't, it doesn't 100% support it, but it should be a lot better. Metronomic, they, they do for the, uh, for the eSports channels. You can watch eSports channels in, in lossless 4K. But they won't do it for, for the streamers. And the reason being is because that eSports streamer is making a whole lot more money for the, for the Twitch than, than you are, than I am. We're in the Netflix quality range. Well, you have to think. In, in a grand scale, if you take the entire world's average internet, no one can watch you higher than probably like 4 to 5K anyways. So even if you're streaming at 50, only like a small percentage of people watching you is going to be able to watch you at that quality. So it kind of makes sense for Twitch not to have that ability. 
because because you gotta you gotta think a lot of people on American phones, if you're on data, you're not able to, to push more than like 4K. So if a streamer is, is restricted by transcoding, you can't watch them at all. But um, but yeah, in in the grand scheme of things, the, the internet and, and as a whole, I get people in here from Turkey, from um, from parts of Brazil. They don't have that kind of internet. They're not gonna be able to watch me at, at you know, 4K resolution, 8K resolution. They're gonna watch me at 360 or 160, and they're gonna enjoy the content. <laughs> And metronomic, um, something I, I've been watching a lot with my numbers, 52% of the people that watch my stream watch it on a mobile device of some kind. So you have to cater to the mobile viewers. If you're not, then you're missing out on an entire audience there. Yeah, only 48% only are watching from the web. And that's, that's over a 30-day period. That's like 40,000 people. I can tell that. I sure can. You watch me on a PS5? Sure. Yeah, I can I can pull those kind of stats up. If you want me to, I'll pull it up real quick. Hold on, let me let me pop over here first because I gotta access a channel that, that you guys can't see. Hold on, I'll pop over here. Uh one second. I'll pull it up and show you guys on here. Let me go Twitch. Twitch.tv. Yeah, they, this goes into stats I can't show you guys. We'll go to here. So this is 30 days. Uh, 30 days. One second. Something's barking at me up here. Let me see if I can't change something real fast. And then if I go... Is that 30 days? No. Yes. Alright. View details. Here you go. Now, it's up to it's up to 50% now. But I will I will show you this. Uh, here. Boom. So there there is my viewers for the last 30 days. Uh, views by platform, web, 42%. 58% of you guys watch me on some kind of mobile device. Android, iOS, console, other TV, or mobile web. So that's why I'm not big on better Twitch TV emotes. And that's why I'm not big on trying to be super duper quality all the time. Because you're watching on, on your phone. Or you're watching on your PlayStation. And you're just lurking most of the time. But that's that's what I got there. So over over half is using a mobile device. That's a that's a crazy number. Dope knows you're on your phone. Well, if you if you switch from phone to your to your phone, if you switch from PC to your phone, you count twice in that. But you only gotta do it once to count them in, in, in both of them. You added to the Canadian seven percent. I don't look at the country demographics as much because I don't really care. Like, like I not that I don't care where you're from, but I don't cater to one side over another. That's why I stream 250 hours a month. I'm trying to catch all you guys and have all you guys come in and hang out. So, I do understand there's a lot of you from different parts of the world, and I try, I try my damnedest to be here for you guys. That's why I do 15-hour uh, streams on the weekends for things. That, that's why I, I used to do 24s. That way I'm I'm here. And you guys know that I'm here. Should have a fun with flags segment. Oh, I'm not going to do that, old man. I have... So here's the bad thing about that, old man. I have a world map in my dining room. And I used to have a camera affixed to it. And when someone said, greetings from so-and-so, I'd run to the globe and put a little pin there to mark it. But do you know how many people are going to lie about that? I'm from Madagascar! So I felt like that was going to be trolled very, very quickly. So I decided not to do it. Dope knows it's not... It's not bad. I've done over 30 myself. CM Philly, welcome in, by the way. I'm glad you're here. Um, they're, they're, they're not bad. It's just you have to be able to have a reason why you're doing it and stay committed to what you're doing throughout the entire stream. There's people I know who do 24 hours. They'll play 15 to 20 different games in that 24 hour. They'll do a game for an hour, get bored, do a game for an hour and get bored, change up to something else, play for two hours, get bored, go somewhere else. I feel like in order for you to actually be successful, you got to stick to like one thing or two things. 
That way you actually get something out of it. Otherwise, you're just, you know, you're just kind of just wasting your time. You're wasting everybody's time. Elite, welcome in, buddy. And that, I, I, I'm not saying that anybody's trolling right now, but if I did that and marked where everybody's from, I would get trolling to some degree. Oh, man, I, I don't know that reference, I guess. You just have to be good. Hi, Hafnium. Welcome in. Speaking of good, Hafnium's here. It was her last day of work today, and now she's free for two months, right? She's free, you guys. How do you know I'm not trolling? You probably do troll. From from the from the community you're from, friggin' nugs. I wouldn't trust you as far as I can throw you. I'm kidding, by the way. You're from the Vatican? Nice. Does the Pope shit in the woods? Uh, Ravel, I, I, I was pausing earlier, so that's probably why it felt longer. Um, I think they're the same length of time. You still have tomorrow, maybe Friday. You, you haven't decided yet. Just stop now. Is a bear Catholic? I don't know. I never asked a bear before about their religious views or their what they affiliate with. I try and stay away from talk like that because it usually calls fights and that bear might eat me. Alright, scout and refrack. Beautiful. Let's go. Actually, I should repair. Let me drive over here and repair. Uh, wait. Oh, I gotta switch vehicles. Change truck. Repair. Here. Beautiful. Okay. Back over to the scout. Let's go. Oh, wow. Repairing there. Fix the front end, guys. Look, our, oh, our international's back to looking nice. When did that happen? I should go paint it. For free food? Oh, I got you. I know it looks so shiny again. I wonder why that... I wonder what happened. Wait. All my trucks look shiny. Wait a tick. Why do all my trucks look shiny? No, they were all bashed and destroyed, old man. <laughs> they were all bashed up and destroyed. Either way. Oh, there it is. Okay, that looks a lot better. That that looks how it, that's how it's supposed to look, guys. Duh. Alright, cool. Alright, that's better. That's better. I wonder why it looks so shiny. It was just an illusion, you guys. See, we're fine. Everything everything's back to what it looked like. That's what I figured. Rain cleans the mud off. This isn't mud liquid. <laughs> I'm talking about this, all the body damage and stuff in the crumpled rear end. This is what I live for. All right, let's go save that trailer. We got to go out of here and go down. Off we go. Vroom, vroom. It was PC quality, now it's mobile quality. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's your soon-to-be boss? He said, I saw you in a Facebook post this weekend, and I panicked because I thought I got tagged in something embarrassing. He just wanted to know I knew his childhood friend who happens to be your uncle. Oh, that's awesome! Well, half the end, that's cool. Small world, huh? Is your, is your uncle... Uh, like a good person? Is he known for being a good person? Because I got some uncles that aren't. And if they said, I know your uncle, I'd be like, oh god, what kind of crap are you in? <laughs> you also partake in debauchery on the weekends? The detailing fairy visited you during the night and buffed the body damage away. This isn't, this isn't Stardew Valley SnowRunner edition. As much as I would love it to be. Uh, we're stuck. That helped a little bit. I'm trying not to use a winch, chat. Everybody wondering. They're like, use a winch! I don't wanna. Farm gas. 
Where am I going? I need to take a right. Let's go right. He's a very respectful re retired police officer. Cool. Good for you. Yeah, I've got nine uncles, and there's two I would use as references. The other, the other, the other seven I would not use in any capacity whatsoever. How you doing, Osgiri? Welcome in, buddy. How are you today? You flip this thing over so many times? Yeah, metronomic, this thing is easy to flip over, dude. It's very top-heavy. Especially once you get the roof rack, it becomes even easier to flip over. But we're going to get 238 gallons of free fuel. Well, 200 and... Uh, like 10 gallons, because we gotta keep some fuel on it for a mission requirement. Come on down. How do you do that for downshift? I don't force anything. I haven't forced anything. I didn't know you could force any kind of gear. What map am I on? Uh, Smithville Dam. We're just trying to make some money so we can rescue our Chevrolet from Alaska. Right now, I'm, I'm broke. Nope, I wasn't doing the upshift. I was just bobbling. <laughs> I just, I just feather the gas, if you want to be honest. I just feather the, the accelerometer. Oh, boy. Stay, stay, stay. This high gear is crazy. If I go into low gear, though, it takes forever. We're probably just destined to be in this gear. I keep forgetting to lift it. Guys, I got to put the lift kit on this thing. Remind me when I get back to the garage. Be like, lift the thing. Because I keep forgetting. Low gear is smooth, but it's slow. I guess since we've got almost infinite gas now, we can we can stay in low. Staying in low is is bad for fuel economy oh come on don't do this to me don't do this to me stay stay up top don't get stuck you suck why do you gotta suck um i guess we're gonna go this way for now start curling back around and grab the trailer and i want to go straight up that way we're probably gonna do that so I'll park. I'll say attach winch. I can't attach winch there. Okay. I guess we're coming down then. You technically shift by tapping the controller bumper button. Oh, okay. So that's, that's probably why I'm tapping the controller and you guys think I'm forcing a gear. I, I don't try to force a gear. I just try to not die. All right. I got to take the mission. And then I got to grab the trailer. First thing I'm going to do is pull... How you doing, Nikki B? Welcome in, buddy. It's good to see you. Oh, God. It's stuck on a tree. Everything gets stuck on a tree! Let's get ourselves out just a little bit. Park. I think that the shift to a closed gear, either up or mostly down. You tap the clutch button. Shift on PC. Oh, I don't use keyboard, so I don't know what that is. If only they gave you two inches, then this game would be completely and utterly broken. You'd be able to do almost anything you want to in this game with just a stock truck. L1 on the controller. Oh, I've never touched that button. I only touched that button to um, turn my headlights on. <laughs> Alright, let's go, little gas tank. Let's climb this this hill. We're going straight up, boys. I ain't afraid of anything. Let's go. I'm going to avoid these trees. We're going to grab onto this rock over here. And we're going straight up. Don't be calling a tree. Why are you calling a tree? Stop it. It's uncouth. Why you got to be stuck on a tree for? Stop being stuck on a tree. Can you stop? Can you not be stuck on a tree? Ugh. Okay, hold on. Change of plans. We gotta get this thing off of a tree first. So let's go this way a little bit. 
Get off the tree! Alright, so now we're off the tree. And then we're gonna go up this way. No tree! No tree! Probably not helping this much. Am I stuck on a tree now? No, nope, stuck on a rock. It's fine. Persistence. Just pull. Just pull and walk it up. You'll get it off. Yep, yep, yep. Just keep going. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Then we're going to go up that way towards where that brown tree is behind the, the one pine tree. Come on. Come on. You're stuck on a tree branch! <laughs> no! Come on, get out from the tree branch. Let's go this way. It's still touching a tree branch. These trees in this game trigger me like nothing else. The evil tree. Well, I mean, it's just, it's just the way it pulls it, man. Kind of annoying. You just got to branch out. Yeah, right? Okay, so now it's just us slipping. So I think I'm going to do this. Go up a little bit and pull it with me. So let's go up to here. Make sure we're in a nice area. I'm going to pull the brakes. I'm going to attach a winch to the trailer. And we go. Let's go. Hold up higher! More trees to contend with. Uh, let's see. Best way to attack these trees. Let me pull the trailer up a little bit. Why not hitch it so you still use the winch? Because the truck won't climb. I can probably do it now that there's trees everywhere. But before I couldn't do it. But also because I love a challenge. I don't know if you know this by now. But I'm very challenged when it comes to this game. Come on up. Come on up. Old man, we're not in a snow map. That's why. So thank you for making the statement that everyone else makes. We're in the snow. We're just out of gas at the moment. What scout do I like the most? Ho! Oh, um... For now, of the of the two that I've used, I like the Chevrolet more. But my Chevrolet is currently in Alaska and out of gas. I was still in the menu and I was sliding down the hill and freaking out. I don't think we need the winch anymore at this point. Might not need it. Yeah, ye, ye oldie man, I'm, I'm in the snow. I just can't afford to stay in the snow. I'm in hard mode. If you want to go watch snow, go find somebody playing in normal mode or better at hard mode than me. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. How's the Chevy as a Scout? I love it. I got the upgraded engine. It's got a lift kit, better tires. It's amazing. It just drinks fuel like a, like a fish in water. All right, we're out. We got it. Where are we taking it to? The preacher's house. Okay, let's go. Actually, I should stop by the garage first and drop off some fuel. Oh no, you're fine, dude. I I, I just think I, I usually I usually go and show people the other truck, but I was stuck on a hill. It's just it's just everybody likes to come in and make that comment when I'm driving around. But here here's the snow. I just don't have any gas. <laughs> The Scout is an international brand, but this is a Chevrolet, Denny. This is a Scout vehicle, see? How is a Chevy a Scout when it's this? It's a it's a Scout. It's a class of vehicle, Denny. There's Scouts, there's heavy duties, there's highway trucks. So usually when you refer to Scouts in this game, because there's only there's only one Scout, actual like brand Scout. It's okay, old man. I just wanted to show that we people people saw. 
That's not an S10. It's a it's a CK1500. But it's a scout vehicle, which is what they were asking me what my favorite scout was. Jeez, Denny. Also, hi, Denny. Thank you for coming in. Hope you're having a good day, bud. Appreciate you. Are all the cars unlocked at the beginning of the game, or do you have to unlock them all in the game progress? Uh, you have to unlock them all, either by leveling up or finding them. And buying them. You don't... In, in normal mode, you have more freedom to get vehicles than in hard mode. But even in normal mode, the, all the vehicles aren't unlocked. This, this isn't really like a sandbox kind of game. This is a... Why is it happy going that way? I need to track this. Launch trailer. Turn it into the preacher's house, who's right there. Hmm. Waiting to board a flight. Ah. How much longer you got? Yeah, Manster, exactly. And others unlock when you go to the location or when you level up. It tells you in the garage what you need for each vehicle when you're when you're looking at them to unlock them. Or to buy them, it tells you you gotta do this first, you gotta do that first, or find find me here. You must have the DLC for this. And then after you unlock it, if you don't find it out in the wild when you unlock it, you have to pay for it. Yield man, sure. I'm up for that. Sweet, we got a fuel tank there we can put gas into. I, I need to find somewhere to dump this gas off into before I turn it in. That way we can get 200 gallons of gas for free. For free. It's kind of sad. Why is it sad? I don't know of any video game that has progression that gives you all the unlocks as soon as you start. Unless you hack it. It wouldn't be a fun game, then, if everything was unlocked as soon as you started. Alright, refuel. Uh, we're gonna go... Fill up 133 gallons. 97. Can I put less fuel into it? I can't. It wants to put all 97 in there. Damn it. Alright, this is fine. We got enough out of it. Old man, the gas prices are already high. The gas in Alaska is nineteen dollars a gallon, dude. That and then I don't—I didn't hack this game. <laughs> it's already pretty dumb. Okay, are we at twenty-one k now? Sweet. So I—I I deduct ten k from this number. So I've only got eleven thousand right now. I've only got eleven thousand. So I found all the vehicles in Michigan. I've only, I'm missing five upgrades. I really want those upgrades. 